Okay, then we are ready for the next prize, which is powered by our corporate partner, Julius Barrett's the prize, the Cypher Award for Future Solutions. And please, I welcome Andreas Feller onto stage, head of German speaking Switzerland, to hold your loud out here. Thank you, Sarah, and uh, very, very, very warm welcome to all of you, uh, especially out in the live stream. But I'm super pleased, as obviously Christian mentioned already, it's the first time in failed about two years uh, where we actually have live audience here, obviously under the respective uh, restrictions, what we still have. But it's great to be in the first live stream where we have actually physical applause and not really kind of this uh, technical artificial sound. So very warm welcome. Um, Congratulations to all the participants, 386 applications. I mean, it's amazing. The diversity is immense. Um, the ideas are tremendous. For us, the future or the award for the future impact trend is, is super important because obviously it looks more into the really the long term. Uh, near term, there's a lot of things around. There's a lot of ideas around. But we strongly believe that you know, we want to engage with the award to something which hopefully in the long term will evolve and obviously as well will be successful and in actually meeting a need for everyone. It's close to our Julius Bears Foundation uh, ideas as well. They're very long term, uh, they're global, but obviously as well very Swiss based. And at the end of the day, obviously being a financial uh, services provider, uh, we do a lot of banking, but we hope that with this award we kind of, kind of create some value beyond wealth. So why the tonight's winner has been selected um, for this award. It's a need, or actually there's a huge need for change, um, for a solution. It's out there. Um, the situation is rapidly um, deteriorating. It's something where we need a solution. Um, unfortunate, there's not the easy fix to it. So that's why we strongly believe we need to give some tailwinds to a startup which hopefully will be soon at the scale up. We had great joy with the pitch in the jury. We had a lot of discussions about it. We really, really were deep diving into the case. It made us dream and I'm super proud and happy actually to announce the winner tonight and it's Reeves. <laughs> Um, wow. Double winner, double winner. Congratulations. So, um, how does that feel? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we, we've been working so hard because we, we really have so much passion, as we said before, and just that people are believing in us and the project and the, and the potential that this solution can bring to coal loss. Oh, it's super motivating. <laughs> 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 so, thank you so much. We're going to yeah. make great use of it. Uh, yeah. So I gotta ask, Swiss space startup, we're a landlocked country, no access to ocean. Like how does it happen that you're so passionate about the ocean and the dying reefs? Where does that come from? We, we all scuba divers. Okay, then it's clear. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and when you have the love, I mean, they're both uh, scientists and marine scientists. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not, but um, we all have like this huge among fascination for, um, Im immense inf fascination for um, the underwater world and yeah, it's just, if you have to go there, it's amazing. <laughs> and we were also touched all by the loss of mm. this environment and this ecosystem. So I think I'm trembling, like it's, it's just too much emotion. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> but yeah, you can take it. But basically it's because we all witnessed the loss of coral yeah. reefs and the witness, we witnessed the loss of, uh, of uh, reef uh, habitants, mm -hmm. so fish and everything that goes with it. And we decided to do something against that. I also just briefly want to say you you also see when you're in countries that are very dependent on reef just how much the whole economy depends on these reefs being mm -hmm. healthy and how they have to carry sand in to get their beach you know to just even have a beach you see the, the the coastline really being washed away the bare beach rock there and, and just seeing all or I guess understanding also from a scientific point of view how all of this is connected also to the rest of the ocean ecosystem and to the people on the land and also even to us here. I mean, a lot of important 
um, pharmaceuticals are also being sourced in reefs and more and more so um, yeah just seeing it, everything is kind of connected to the reefs I guess mm -hmm. and once you notice that and notice that just the scale of that problem uh, we just found this is where we want to work this is this is also the the point where we can just use our expertise best mm -hmm. yeah. please yeah okay what? some more emotional <laughs> notes very quickly <laughs> Okay, I guess oh, I w would like to say it's also thanks to our parents because they actually brought us to the ocean, all of us, when we were still very young. We got very early in touch with that amazing ecosystem and yeah, I think that's where the love started actually. And yeah, then it was very sad for us witnessing how a whole ecosystem degrades. So yeah, thank you for that prize. We will really make good use of it. Yes. <laughs> Take inspiration from these three wonderful ladies. Thanks you very much. Congratulations. Thank you.